Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Let's start lecture 32. and we will continue our discussion on kinetics of corrosion. In the last class we started discussing on polarization. And there we have noticed that for this particular reaction we have negative current which is minus I C or rather current density which indicates the rate at which cathodic reaction takes place and we have anodic current density which is the rate at which the metal ion forms from metal. And now then we notice that if we supply negative current to this that means if we supply more and more more electrons then I can increase the I C value if we see the board value of I C that means, we are not considering the negative term which is actually the direction of the flow of current is greater than I A then the rate of forward reaction increases because it indicates the rate nothing but the rate of forward reaction. So, if the rate of forward reaction increases the potential shifts to the negative side that is what we have noticed we have said in the last lecture. And then if we had the equilibrium potential before having this condition or when I C equal to I A equal to I 0 that means, the reversible condition non corroding situation we have E 0 potential. Now, once we have this I C greater than I A that means, we have more and more electron supply or more and more negative current then it leads to the potential a new potential which is the manifestation of this current flow and the new potential let us say E 1 then my the polarization then we say that the electrode has polarized and then the polarization quantity of polarization we indicate by n nita and the c means the superscript c means the cathodic equal to final potential which is e 1 minus initial potential. This is the value of polarization and you see this is a negative and we are also seeing if we send negative current then definitely the potential would go to the negative side. So, this is called cathodic over voltage and its unit is in V and this is due to cathodic polarization. Similarly, if we have a situation I A greater than I C, then actually I am increasing the rate of backward reaction or the rate of metal ion formation reaction. In that case the potential would switch to positive side in comparison to this equilibrium potential and that time we also say that the material has that electrode has polarized and that polarization we call it as anodic polarization and the measure of that polarization is nita anode equal to E 2 minus E 0, where E 2 is the potential the new potential after anodic polarization. 
and this is you see that this is also unit volt and this is also anodic over voltage. This is due to anodic polarization. Now, interestingly this potential change in this case in the case of cathodic polarization the potential drops from the equilibrium potential or in case of anodic polarization the potential goes up from the equilibrium potential. This is due to the excess current flow this is interesting when this excess current flow is taking place in this case preferentially cathodic current density is increasing and in this case anodic current density is increasing in case of anodic polarization and in case of cathodic polarization I c is more than I a. That means, this polarization is the manifestation of current flow. or manifestation of net current flow. Since, once we have this situation then I would say that I c minus I a is basically I applied or the I external. Similarly, here I a minus I c is equal to I applied which is basically the external current what we are providing or we are sending this is the difference between these two current densities. Now, if we try to look at the evolution of I 0 the way we have looked at it is basically we have considered I H P and O H P and this is the metal side and this is the metal ion side and both are at the same level energy level and we have high energy barrier and this barrier is delta G star. And then we have noticed that this particular flow of metal to metal line is I A and then the backward current is I C with a negative sign. Then at the at condition of equilibrium when I A equal to I C equal to I 0 and we have found out an expression for I 0 which is n f n nu f exponential minus delta G star by R t. This we have noticed and we have said that if a f is equal to 1 this can be brought down to n f n nu exponential minus delta G star by R t. We can write this one or this one any one would be ok. In this case f is 1 that means, whatever metal ions are coming from the OHP to IHP they are all getting accommodated after reduction and whatever metal atom is going to the OHP from IHP they are also accommodated on OHP surface. N is the number of moles per unit area and this area we are considering this area and this area and both are if we have a cathodic reaction on top of it and then anodic reaction is also taking place on the same area because this is a reversible reaction. It is happening on the same area f is 1 Faraday n is the number of electrons participating in this redox reaction or half cell reaction. Now, interestingly when we are saying that I c is greater than I a or I a greater than I c that means, rate of forward and backward reactions are also changing. In this case both I a and I c they are experiencing the same barrier activation barrier. Now, once we have this two situation the activation barrier would change how would be the change. Now, in case of condition like this let us see what happens. In this case we have I H P and O H P and interestingly this is reaction coordinate 
in this case I can consider as distance. Now, here also distance between the double layer. Now, in the beginning it was on the same level, because we are having I 0 that means, they are on they are equilibrium their phi energies are also similar and equilibrium concept it says that when a system reaches equilibrium first condition del g p t equal to 0, second condition g p t goes to minimum. This is equilibrium and that is what you see these are these two regions are these two energy troughs are basically uh, the minimum point and they are at the same plane. So, that means, they are also same. So, both the conditions are meeting. So, this is the condition of equilibrium. Now, if I send extra negative current or I c that means, the rate at which this particular backward reaction happens in this case would be faster than the forward reaction. And that means, definitely in this case delta g which is let us say c the new delta g c that means, the jump activation barrier for metal ion to metal should be lesser than the jump activation barrier should be less than jump activation barrier for anodic process the cathodic process then would be faster. Why? Because if we try to see that or I c equal to n f. Now, this one I can simplify simply I put exponential minus delta g star by r t a is basically the part considered here. Now, I c equal to I 0 equal to A prime exponential minus delta G star by R t in this situation. Now, in second situation when we have this particular condition, so that the rate at which backward reaction happens is faster than the forward reaction, then this would become A prime exponential minus delta g c by r t and i a should be a prime exponential minus delta g a by r t. Now, delta g c is equal to activation barrier new activation barrier for cathodic process and delta g a equal to new activation barrier for anodic process. So, now in order to have this situation where delta g a equal to delta g c is less than delta g a, then this should move up this plane and this should go down. Now, let us see if we have some situation here. Let us say we put a different color uh, green color. So, if you have a situation like this, let us see how the activation barriers are changing. So, in this case now, this is the new delta g c and this is the new delta g a and in this situation I could see that this particular condition is met. So, the rate since the activation barrier height has gone down in case of cathodic reaction, 
the rate at which cathodic reaction would take place as compared to the anodic reaction would be faster than anodic reaction. So, in this case we have higher rate of cathodic reaction. Now, what happens a situation when we have this? That case the equation pattern would be same, but the only change would be if we put it in a blue color only change would be that case delta g a be greater than would be less than delta g c when i a greater than i c. How the situation changes? Let us see that, that case this one will move up and this one will go down. So, this go down, this will go down and this will go up. So, how it would look like? So, you see now what is the new barrier for anodic reaction? This is my new barrier for anodic reaction which is delta G A let us say prime and new barrier for cathodic reaction would be delta G C prime let us say. Now, you see the length of this activation area or the height of this activation barrier has decreased even compared to I 0 and the height of this delta G C which is the new activation for barrier for cathodic reaction has increased enormously as compared to even I 0. And if you see the height difference between delta G A prime and delta G C prime this condition is met. So, I A is greater than I C. So, that case anodic process would be faster. So, in this case this is the situation, uh, this is the situation when I will have preferential cathodic process and in this case we would have preferential anodic process. Now, we can also indicate this that in this case it will be potential E would go down or cathodic polarization in this case we will have E goes up. So, the new potential would be higher than the equilibrium potential. Uh, sorry, we made a mistake here, it should be standard is E 0, make a make an amendment, this would be E superscript 0, this is also E superscript 0. Now, here also uh, this will be uh, less than E 0 and this should be more than E 0. So, now you could see that how the energy barriers are changing and accordingly we have preferential cathodic and preferential anodic reaction. Now, once we know this situation, this particular situation energy barrier situation since it is a thermally activated process, we can have a correlation between uh, this current density of for cathodic and anodic with activation barrier. And finally, we can have a correlation between over voltage, we can have a correlation. Let us look at that correlation. So, now our intention is to find out the correlation between this basically current and over voltage. So, our intention would be to find out this particular correlation and then we would see that, that that would enable us 
to understand mixed potential theory. So, that is what I am trying to uh, concentrate more on this correlation. Now, when we see this particular particular uh, this is m surface, this is m n surface. Initially, it was on the same plane, because it was equilibrium and then we are switching from, uh, because in this case we are assuming that I A is higher than I C. We can have this kind of situation. Now, we have to understand that whenever we have this that means, we have a net current flow I A minus I C I applied this net current flow would lead to an over voltage which is nita. Now, we have to understand that out of this nita how much would be required to change this energy barrier for this side and how much would be required to change this barrier to this side. And in order to know this, we have to understand a particular concept which is called symmetry factor. And this is, is termed as alpha. Now, in order to know the symmetry factor which decides that how much fraction of this nita will be used up for changing the activation barrier on the anodic side and how much will be used up to change the activation barrier on the cathodic side. Now, we can also put it in this fashion, this is reductant, this is oxidant or we can simply put it as R and O. These are some notation, this is reductant this is oxidant or we simply put as capital O and capital R. Now, in order to understand symmetry factor, we have to look at uh, the rate constant. Now, when we have a kind of reaction like this A goes to B or in the same in this case O plus N E equal to R that time the forward reaction rate I can put it as k c and the backward is k a and c and k a is basically cathodic and this is anodic. So, k c into the concentration of ox oxidant so, I can put it as C O equal to R C. R C is nothing but the rate of the forward reaction. Similarly, R A which is the rate of backward reaction is nothing like nothing but K A which is the rate constant and concentration of R. Now, at equilibrium both these rates are equal k c c 0 equal to k a c r. Since, this is an electrochemical process and this is going for equilibrium and this is reaching equilibrium and this is the condition for equilibrium, then I would have a potential developed which is E equal to E 0 plus R T by N F concentration of O L N and concentration of R. So, oxidant concentration of oxidant and concentration of reductant. So, R T by N F C 0 L N C 0 by C R equal to E minus E 0. 
And interestingly, these two constants are also dependent on potential. Potential and the dependency looks like this. This is let us say E, it is increasing. Now, this is K when k c which is the rate constant for the forward reaction or the reduction reaction, when it increases that time the potential drops from the standard reduction potential. So, it should have opposite reaction with respect to the potential increase. So, the reaction this is if this is k c. So, as the k c increases then potential goes to the left side. Similarly, in case of k a as the k a increases that means, the oxidation process increases the potential goes to the positive side as, side as per the polarization concept. So, we have positive direction variation of k a. Now, at this condition both are equal. So, we have this equilibrium situation and then we can take logarithm on both sides. So, l n k c plus l n c 0 equal to l n k a plus l n c r. We can simplify this is l n k a minus l n k c equal to l n c 0 by c r or we can simply write it as l n k a plus l n 1 by k c equal to l n c 0 by c r. And interestingly l n c 0 and c r I can write in the form of potential which is E minus E 0 n f by r t. So, this is one important formula what we have derived by seeing looking at the equilibrium condition. Now, this will be our starting point for the next lecture where we will try to see this symmetry factor. Let us stop here, we will continue our discussion on this symmetry factor from this equation onwards. Thank you.